Hello everyone and welcome back. It's me, the Farmer here. I'm so glad you could join me for another video today, guys. So I'm back in Sword Warriors and today we're going to discuss the hero ornaments, the system, how it works. Then I'm going to show you how I put my hero ornaments on my heroes and maybe we'll go do a little test run and see what they do. So let's jump right in. So when the update came out, guys, I wasn't really sure how the hero ornaments worked. All I knew is that your heroes could start equipping ornaments and I didn't know if that meant they used the abilities or whatnot but hey we uncovered a lot in the past few days so I'm gonna explain everything to you right now today so the way it works with the new hero ornaments as you see update 174 had the new hero ornament system and there's also a star event and all that good stuff right there but for the ornaments specifically you could choose the one you want to use so you should probably do that first right Pick the one that you want your actual character to use. For me, it's usually the Frost Iron Claw. Until I get the Eye of Hell, it would be ideal to have the Crown of Rune King, but I don't have that. So we're going to use the Eye of Hell, which gives 15% attack speed and 0.5 life steal when I get it. But for now, Frost Iron Claw for the crit damage and attack speed. So I have that on right there. So I do some decent damage. Right now, it's 257, but my stats are a little wonky and I don't have any heroes equipped and all that stuff so don't have to worry about that at the moment guys so now the heroes right you want to decide first and foremost what heroes do you want to use right maybe you want to do a certain combo or just try something new so for instance i want to go ahead and use the flame wizard so i'm going to equip the flame wizard and with the flame wizard maybe i want to also do the paladin or something for some protection or maybe i want to go ahead and do the priest for some healing right that's a popular one right there so we go ahead and go priest and flame wizard we go shaman and flame wizard that's a really popular choice or maybe i want to go double mage so we can go ahead and just do this for the example right here so we have the flame wizard and the snow queen on guys we have both of the casters right here let's just go ahead and try this setup so now that's normally how it would be then you'd go and tweak your upgrades accordingly you know to make sure that everything is in line but with the new hero ornament system there's a little new icon as you're familiar with right down here so first what you want to do is select the ones you're actually going to be equipping right you want to get equip bonuses on them so you click the button a new interface pops up and what this means down here under is the counter armor that's the one i have selected or the angel halo it's going to say the hero ornament power so this is what the ornament gives your actual hero if you equip it so it, and it gives an equip bonus to health if i click on the treasure bag it's going to give you a bonus to crit for owning it so you want it to say equip for the ones you're actually using right you have the hero equipped you want it to also receive a bonus from the ornaments with the equip bonus on it so i want it to be uh, attack for the mage because that's what the equip bonus is so you want it to match so whatever you're wearing so I want to find something with bonus equip attack if I can and it's right here we got the plungers so I could go ahead and put the plungers on her and it should actually update that to give me that uh, little bonus so it might be a little buggy where you got to come out and here you go as you see now it updated it's giving me twice that 106 attack bonus guys because I have on the plungers that give the equip uh, attack bonus but under it, it also shows you what it would give you if you wore it so your guys are not gonna have any of these special effects so if they wear the night night cloak they're not gonna jump to the center right if you give them the treasure bag they're not going to give you extra gems and so forth they're only gonna give you the stat upgrade that's the whole point of this is to really just increase your stats it's great for new players free to play players pay to win players whoever more stats the better for everyone guys you top that with the new swords that are available in the endless dungeon that we're standing in right now and you're gonna have a better time grinding than when i started and was kind of figuring things out and just had to go world to world and grind so trust me on that so we can keep on moving on now we have our first equip bonus for the actual equipped hero now as you see she's actually uh she is she's got the plungers on her she just won't sit still but if you look carefully, she's got the plungers on her back there. So now I want to hook the Snow Queen up with something. So we're going to go ahead and select the Snow Queen. And she has Critical Strike Equip and Attack Owned. So I ideally want to find something that gives Critical Strike for my attack, uh, for my equip attack. So let's go ahead and scroll through them because I don't really know. It's this guy right here, the Baby Dragon. For equipping it, it's going to give Critical Strike bonus. So we're going to put that on. It used to update instantly, but I guess it's a little buggy. So let's go back. And now you see it's 68 crit. So now we have the bonuses on both. She has the little dragon, giving her the love right there. Look at the little hearts, looks so awesome. So 
at this point, we have equipped our heroes stacked up. So now, what you want to do is utilize as many of the remaining ornaments you have left on the rest of the heroes you have unlocked to give you the own bonus, right? If you put an equip bonus on something that you're not using, you're not going to get a benefit off it because you don't have it equipped. Bruh. But if you put something with an own bonus on, then you're going to benefit because you own it, right? You own it, it's not equipped, but it has the bonus for owning it, so you're going to get boosted. So it depends on really what you want to do. Uh, so ideally, I like to go for the attack and the health ones, but the speed is awesome too, right? There's only a couple dudes that give you speed own, so... Uh, in this case, it's really just the Archmage, I think, that I have. So he's an easy one, right? You click him, he's speed on both. So I'm not equipping him, so I want something with the own bonus. I know it's uh, it's not the Tome of Intelligence. That would be if I had him equipped. It says right here, guys. So I think it's this one. The Titan Speaker, for owning it, it's going to give me a bonus to my speed. Look at that. Super fast, dude. Let's go. So he is 80 own bonus. Now, I want to boost up uh some more of my um my own bonuses for health so the shaman i switch between quite often so i'm gonna go to the actual priest now another tip is to do your highest level ones first right why would i get 37 doubled when i could get 53 doubled right it's gonna be more stats so let's find something that gives an own bonus for for the uh the heart there and it's the slim balloon i believe uh the slim balloon and the counter armor so we have two two that give for owning it so Let's give her the Slim Balloon, and that increased my health. If you look down below again, it's 213, but when I equip it, it goes up to 233. Beautiful. So now we want to find another one. It's the Paladin. Is my next highest with the hearts. So we're going to go ahead and give him the other uh, counter armor, and my health's going to go up again to 249, guys. So this is all you got to do, right? So now I want to get my highest attack bonus one, and it's going to be the Prophet. So let's find an attack uh, for if I have one for owning. So it's the Night Knight's Cloak, and that might be it because I'm using this for my actual character. So we're going to give this the Cloak. It's going to increase my damage, and I'll take that right there. So now it gives 90. So now what's left? I have uh, an attack, a crit, an attack, and more health. Um, so let's go ahead and see. Do I have any that can I put crit on? There's got to be some crit here for owning. Own crit, yes, right there. So I have equip, equip, and the only one I have left is the treasure bag. So we're going to put that on to get more critical strike. So now the rogue is giving me 106 critical strike just for owning it. Unfortunately, I don't have enough ornaments left to boost up these guys right here. Uh, that's really why you want to go ahead and try to get as many of these uh, event ones as you can. Uh, because they're going to give you the bonuses that you need. If we go and take a look at the guardian store right so i don't oh it doesn't actually bring up the stats oh no that's that's unfortunate i'm not sure if you can go into the interface menu and take a look let's see so oh it does so you can see so the eye of hell if i do get it if i'm not using it I'll, I'll be able to get the attack bonus for owning so for either that or the iron claw that's great because i like those two so i'd be able to put that on one of my guys and then if I got this, Seraph Protector, that would also be something I could put on my guys. So those two are ones you can get just for grinding. These right here are ones you get for pain in the shop. And then this bad boy is going to be a speed one we get from the event. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. You want to go ahead and find the heroes you're going to use first. Get the equip ornament on them and then go through and the rest of them and put the own bonuses on them. So now we have good stats, but we have to also tweak our stats. Because if I left it like this, I'd be at 273. Uh, attack and way too much crit so let's go ahead and reset everything here looks like i only need to put 23 more into this to get 100 percent crit that's beautiful now i can go ahead and see let's see i want to get my speed up a little bit more so let's go ahead and get this up to i don't know about 24 24 is a good number and my attack is 273 still so let's go ahead and get the hp up to that right there now we're going to go ahead and get it up a little bit more ideally we get the hp i don't know about 182 that's a decent number right there let's go ahead and put some into the attack as well let's be careful though so i want my attack oh there we go my attack is above 300 000. so that's actually a pretty good number right there let's go a little bit more 311 000. we'll do the rest to get 200 000 hp now we're looking pretty strong guys 311 000 guaranteed crits 200 000 health we're ready to rip so now at this point i have everything set up with the new hero ornament system now, keep in mind, you are going to have to make adjustments, guys. Um, if you go ahead and switch heroes around, you know, you're going to have to move some of your ornaments around to really min-max things and be ideal with it. 
but I mean, that's pretty much it. So, like I said, pick the hero you're using, get the equip ornament on that, and then worry about the other ones filling in the slots, guys. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful to you explaining what you should do, how to use the hero ornament system, you know, ideally and all that. And yeah, that's all I had. So thanks for sticking with me, guys. And remember, until next time, stay positive, keep swinging, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.